But I can't get all the rooks on it with the symmetry. That was the problem. If I block with the king, he gets out. Zebrig is here. Okay, what is this? I have a bunch of pawns. So it's even material, but at my pawn, I've got four, four, four towers of power here. Let's see what Zebrig's going to do. Thank you so much to Care Bear for the two months. Thank you so much. So yeah, that's that's the thing with Canty. I mean, Canty's a little bit younger, but Canty's just very methodical. I mean, it seems like he has a very methodical approach. Thank you so much to Seven Calls for the 435... Uh, for the Ruth 435. Thanks so much for the event calls. I'm going to assume that that is a uh, poker channel. So if you're talking about calls, that really can e only apply to poker or to finance. So I'm guessing it's poker. Yeah, it is poker. Okay. Do I speak fluent Japanese? No, I do not, you guys. I grew up, I grew up in America. Although I, I will say that in recent times, I have studied a little bit of Japanese. Um, so I, I, I'm, I mean, I, I also want to go to Japan next year at some point. I suggest a new speed run with the theme moral degradation with flagging as its main theme. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. That's a good one. That's a good one. I like it. I, I like, I like, I like, I like where your mind is at. That's, that's actually a really good idea. Do I enjoy Japanese food? Um, I love Japanese food. That's good night too. I mean, my pawns are very, very ugly here. They're very, very misplaced. And my bishop is awful too. Just no, no diagonals. All right, let's see. Now, Bishop E6 is a good move. I'm not going to trade. I'm going to try to keep more pieces on the board and eventually get rid of the pawns. Thank you so much to Chess Pawn for the more four months. Has Kramnik always been this much of a meme? Not really, but... Yeah, I mean, it, it's understandable what happened. You're very welcome, Rug. I hope you enjoyed the game. All right. Anywho, let's keep going. C4. Okay, let's go bishop b2, maybe queen e1, maybe c5, knight c4 at some point. Very ugly position. Chess spawn 01, just subscribe. Um, 10 speedrun where you can only win on time would be epic, would be too hard in 3 plus 2. Yeah, three, three, in 3 0 bullet, it wouldn't be easy. It would probably be possible. Thank you to Maspero Lucas for 3 months, but the problem is if I do that, I don't know how. You're almost at 400 games with the ready Nimzo Larson variation. That's amazing. Are, why, why are chess pros still complaining about computers and draws for switching to 960 because it's too hard? Uh, no, the problem is that generally it's just, if, if players want to be very solid, chess is just a very drawish game objectively. The funny thing, by the way, the funny thing about Kramnik actually getting really mad about the increment thing is the reason that it's also really funny in a way is because Kramnik is a player who grew up in a time period before there was increment. So Kramnik grew up in a time when like playing blitz, playing the all playing without increment was like the way you played chess. It just was. So so the fact that that he's like complaining about there being no increment, it's kind of funny because I'm I guarantee you when Kramnik was a kid or even when he was a young adult, there were probably a lot of blitz games he played in like in you know against Tal or other people in like smoky bars, and flagging was completely a thing. Okay, let's go uh Queen One, guard the pawn at E3. So, so that's why it's kind of funny, actually, because like he grew up in a time before increment, and he's the one complaining about complaining about it. Okay, I'm gonna go here, hit the queen, hit all the pawns, guard the pawn at e3 as well. Should be very, very good. Maybe he still hated it back then. Maybe. I'm gonna go here, target the bishop, target the knight. This should be winning for me. Uh, that's a free juicer. Let's just take. Good morning, yeah. Good morning. Um, why are you not playing the Global Chess cha Challenge? Because I'm I'm one of the invitees. To, I'm one of the 32 invitees. Uh, so I start playing in September. That's what I was told by Chess.com. I mean, if that's not true, that's not true. But that's what I was told. Whereas like Jose, Minlay, all of them, they they don't qualify. They are they aren't getting a 
a qual automatic qualification or invite. So, so that's what that's what I was. Uh, that, that's why. Whoa, there goes the queen. That's a bit, a bit surprising. All right, let's trade some rooks. Go rook d1 here. All right. It's 4 p.m. in the Netherlands. Delachef's got to be awake. It's the afternoon. Okay, plays e4. Okay, let's uh, go e3. Isn't Fisher Chess best reviewer experience? No, Fisher Chess, I think, is actually... If you're not a very strong, uh, if you're not a very strong chess player, I think Fisher Random is actually extremely hard to understand or enjoy. Um, to be honest, I, I think it's very, very difficult because the problem is like the pieces they just aren't on the right squares. Like everything just is a little bit off. What is my favorite book? I don't have a favorite book, although I, I mean, maybe it's a little bit childish, but I liked. Um, I really liked. Uh, I really liked some of the, the the series growing up, like uh, Harry 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 Potter, Chronicles of Narnia, those sorts of things. Am I in Flow Rider? Yes, I am. I am back home in Flow Rider. My opponent had a huge tactical idea with takes and check to win the queen, but he missed it. Although B five is still a very good move. I'm gonna go back. Thank you so much to Golden Gopher for the prime thing. Stony Playa for the two months and Donald Dumb for the two months. Thank you so much to Donald Dumb. Appreciate it. Thank you. Dropping you two names on Discord? Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll okay. Players are in play? Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, that's the username. It's Donald Dumb. Yeah, Donald Dumb. Love your streams and all your content. Greetings from Germany. <laughs> Is Florida your home state? Yeah, I'm back home in Florida. I've had a house here for some 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 years. Okay, that's a free pawn. Still very unclear because he's got full development here, like maximum development. I have not really developed much. I haven't developed any of these pieces, but hopefully it's okay. Thank you so much for rising chesticles. Eleven months. Thank you so much for rising chesticles. Let's play knight c3 here. Um, I guess I'll just take with the bishop. <laughs> Got him. Yeah. A lot, a lot of good usernames this morning. A lot, a lot of good usernames. What temperatures do you keep your AC at? Uh, normally it's around like 71, 71 or so. Is traveling one of your favorite things about chess? You know, I have to say uh, that's Fahrenheit. Um, travel, I used to love traveling. I actually don't enjoy traveling. It's become such a nightmare, such a hassle with all, all these little things nowadays, um, you know, in, the, in this COVID era and this post COVID era. So I, I, I used to love it. Now I actually just, I, I don't want to travel much if I can help it. Thank you so much to Nitty RM3 for the seven months. Thank you so much to Nitty RM3. I appreciate it. Thank you. Can I play any instruments? Uh, very poorly. Very poorly. I play, um, I can play the trumpet pretty poorly. I mean, violin, I guess I could pro. I mean, probably I could remember a little bit, but I was very young when I played violin, so pretty unlikely. Greetings from Cuba. Hope all is well, Lestat. Hope, hope everything's good in Cuba. Do I prefer cats or dogs? Oh, I love dogs. I've always loved dogs. Um, kind of want to get aggressive, but it's not working. I can also take, I guess I'll take and play like queen h5 and go for a mate maybe, or maybe just queen f3, queen f3, trade some juicers or line up a right triangle, of course. Thank you so much to Mustard MD for the four months. Thank you so much to Mustard MD. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yay! Love the streams. Thoughts on the stock market, inflation, recession. I don't know. Market is dumping. I know. I wasn't looking closely, but I did see markets dumping. Although, is this inflation or is this just China this morning? I see China's dumping hard. So I, I don't know what this morning is. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, it's going to be a big week. I, I think there's a lot of stuff on the docket. Is it? There's like. I think there's what CP there's like what there's CPI. I think there's CPI this week. There, there, there are a couple other important things as well. I forget what, what all's happening, but there's some stuff this week. Uh GDP. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now that's I guess I'll take and play B3. I have to be a little bit careful not to get checkmate here, but I think I'm fine. 
go here kick the bishop out there's no checkmate so I cover the square if rook d8 I just take and then check king e2 and I should just be winning well unfortunately things are not doing well in Cuba I, I don't I don't know what Cuba's like okay now now though I just get to castle and now there's no danger I'm just up a pawn and I have a really nice um I uh let's go here and hit the rook maybe I can line up a lobster pincer maybe the lobster pincer comes into play soon Do you think that we're near the time for chess rules patch update to make draws less probable I don't think so I think chess is always gonna have the same rules um only question is whether at some point if 960 doesn't overtake classical uh not classical sorry but just a mo modern modern day chess that's the only question well I try to regain my number one rank for blitz back uh I'm just gonna play tournaments and see how how it goes I'll probably play the world wrap and blitz and then then the uh and then the tournament in India but that's that's it like I, I mean if I get it I get it if I don't I don't that's just life uh but the problem with this is I just eat the rook that's the only problem now but he saw the lobster pincer so he stopped the checkmate but unfortunately it doesn't quite work that was the only problem so yeah all right let's see okay some of the players are back so let's give them their games um dv wait what what happened okay let's let's play dv dv8 all right I will play uh traditional traditional openings we'd love for you to hold number one I mean that that I guess would be nice doesn't really matter to me ratings are ratings I I don't really care all that much I just play chess to have fun uh is there any prep that can happen with 960 you can do some prep but it's very tough very very tough okay now my opponent plays the Ragozin, which for a 973 is a little bit little bit advanced Uh, and see yeah as a 970 like you don't know the intricacies of this line and he just drops the bishop immediately uh it's just not an opening that I that I recommend at this level okay let's take I will take of course oh it's the it's too big okay one second all right um let's take take the pawn here take the knight here play e3 next move maybe bishop g5 bishop b5 sorry thank you so much to 2 tx and k for the prime thing so there's dr hottie for the 31 i'm gonna go bishop b5 opponent has big problems here he's down a piece already and positionally it's very tough to play uh we have a list of people I'm playing so we're just we're just keeping it pretty chill uh let's just take the queen take the knight I guess I'll take the pawn or I'll take a bishop go queen f5 uh this will end pretty soon take the pawn take the rook take the rook uh what is the what is the play here what am I getting I have what one two three four I've got one two three four five six pawns I can get seven Queens I can also get nine rooks right one two three four five seven I can get nine rooks that's pretty rare isn't it No, uh, wait one two three four five oh no I can get eight rooks never I can get eight rooks never mind it's not nine rooks right I 
I can't recall the last time I did a mate with with uh with eight rooks. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, eight rooks. Good. How do I do this exactly? Somehow I have to sack, uh, sack the knight too. There we go. That's how I do it. I'm gonna make him take this knight. Yeah, there he. There we go. How do I get the mate with... Can I get all the rooks on the 8th rank or not? No? I tried this last time and I failed? Okay, let me see. I mean, I can put the king on h8, but that doesn't mean I get the mate. Right? If I go here, I have to make sure not to do a 50 mo mover. Nihilistic just took $5 out of Bezos' pocket. But I can't get all the rooks on it with the symmetry. That was the problem. If I block with the king, he gets out. Yeah, I want the rooks all lined up. I don't I don't think you can. I can do it with all the rooks on the seventh and the rook on the eighth. You want me to do a zigzag with the rooks? That would be a weird one. Seventh, I think you can do actually. Seventh, I'm pretty sure you can do. Yeah, uh, let me see. When was the last when was the last move? E8. So it's move 74, so I have a few more moves. This actually, you know what this reminds me of? Maybe you guys know there's there was this game I played as a kid where it was uh there was like a car game where you move cars around, you have like cars set a certain way. I forget what it what it what it's called. There was some game. Whatever. I'm just gonna make the checkmate. No no nonsense. Yeah. Okay. I, there's probably some way to do it, but I, I'm I'm too stupid to figure it out. Okay. Um, Media loose is not on test.com play. So, um, let's let's keep going.